What do we think about when we think about the world? Do we think about this or this? No, this is not the world. This is the parallel. So the right question is, what is the world in the parallel? Let's have a look. In the parallel, everything in the world is created from fundamental materials called ruins. So what can you create from ruins? How about a paragon like this cool guy? Or these simple trees? Too simple? Well, how about this soaring dragon? Now that is cool. And when all the paragons are connected to the lands, we have what's called the parallel. So you see, the parallel is a world manifested from our creativity, unhindered by rules and boundless in possibilities. Join us, and together we can create our dream world. So this is The Parallel, a massive, ambitious project that I really like, look, like the look of. I reached out to these guys and said, you know, I'd like to do a video. And we came to an agreement, which uh, means that this is watched and sponsored. So go to the comment section down below, post anything you want, go to the description, go to Discord and post your wallet address in the competition wallet section, along with your YouTube name. And you'll have a chance to win one of six lots of 50 USDT be transferred in three days time when I select the winners. So what is the parallel? It's an infinite metaverse where players can create symbiotic dream worlds. You can create anything you want. This will be likely be compared to Minecraft, which obviously is a hugely successful game and is needed in the NFT gaming space. But it has competitors out there. There is the sandbox. We're going to be going through the differences between this and the sandbox. And so why this might be a better option for you personally, it might fit your style of play if you want to contribute to this metaverse. So Paragon Crafting, through your own creativity, you can create Paragons and become a building block of the parallel metaverse. You can explore own lands, so you can buy lands and create your own virtual world and generate revenue from them. You have DeFi crossing with NFTs, where not only DeFi and play to earn, the parallel introduces creative to earn with limitless earning potentials. And really, they what what they were not going for, were going for is not play to earn, but they just want to enjoy to earn. Like you know, you're enjoying playing the game, and there's also potential earning alongside it. Uh, the parallel is designed to reward everyone for enjoying its dynamic entertainment experiences, and it has a very very busy roadmap over the next couple of months. So, Q4 we have the landing page token generation event ido quarter four launch earning feature foundation game craft paragon and allow submission of paragon designs so if you really want to be involved in this from the ground up you can actually get involved as an artist if you're good at pixel art and create some of the uh the work that might be submitted into the game they're then going to launch a marketplace launching of the mining game exhibition and auction event q2 is where they're going to have land sales launching the new mining casual game Q3 will have the integration of the game with the develop with game developer and entertainer company. You're going to have the launch of AR and VR for game developers, entertainment companies, and launch new mining casual game. Then in Q4, they will launch an orientation game, mega virtual event of the parallel. To really celebrate the end of the year. And I think this is a project really is something that can just grow and grow and grow and grow. The more people put into it, Sandbox did this and you know it's worked very well. They had a lot of creatives come in. I think you're going to see a lot of people moving into this space as well. It's going to create a lot of opportunities for people who are good at art, maybe don't have necessarily a good outlet for it. The project has some really respectable partners with Kyber Ventures and Signum Capital. They have advisors that have a lot of experience in the gaming industry and in the blockchain space. They have a big team that will be working on you know helping to assist the game. A lot of the creation is also so, you know, I'd say a big member of the team in this is going to be you and the, the people who contribute to creating some of the pixel art. Anybody who's played Minecraft knows how easy it is to create pretty much anything from pixel art because it's so simplified into blocks. I mean, I couldn't create this dragon, but I'm talking like if I can create a tree, no problem. And I think that's where you're going to get a lot of people moving into the space to help contribute to the creation of, of amazing metaverses, amazing lands. So how can you craft in Paragon? You'll be able to create them by using a piece of software. Here we can see the creation of what will be a duck. And I've used similar software like this before. It's not too tricky to use that ability to rotate the axis to be able to get to the certain points where you're adding the blocks in. You can see at the bottom here, we've also got a selection of resources that you'll be using, utilizing to create your paragons. 
So there's going to be a, an economy around those resources as well. And here we see the final completion of the duck. No, wait, it's not complete. It needs to look like Elvis. Yep. Now we've done it. The duck is complete. It does take some skill to complete things like this, of which I, I, I don't have enough skill to do this. I'm not an artist, but there'll be people out there who will be good enough to, to create little paragons that you'll be able to see. I think the best thing is, is that you'll be able to see these then in the world as well, what you've created. And then you can export the model, export it to the parallel, and then it's created. As always, you know I always say it because it's so important, follow all the socials. So go to the Twitter and follow these. They will be in the link in the description below, but also, you know, you can just go to the website and they've got them nicely listed all at the bottom right of the the main page. On the socials, usually it's the giveaways and one of them they're already running at the moment. So they're having an AR challenge around the world. I don't think I'm gonna win this because it's about taking somewhere at an iconic place around the world. I live in basically the countryside. There are no iconic places other than like cows. Um, so <laughs> in my entry, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but you have a chance to win 300 PRL and that goes to 100 winners. So 30,000 PRL in total to be given away. You can just follow the steps down below. I'll put the link to this uh, QR code in the description below as well. And it's very easy to use on Facebook. And once you've taken it, you can upload it and you will have a chance to win as well. Look at my entry. <laughs> I don't know what happened with uh, the girl. She, she just got huge. And you know, this iconic place in England is where I walk my dog every day. Oh yeah. Look, bang, kicked me in the face. She's huge. And I think that competition highlights a really unique feature about the parallel is that they're trying to blend the digital world and the real world together using augmented and virtual reality in the future where, you know, they're preparing where virtual reality, I think will be bigger in the future as technology develops. And if they can integrate into a game like this, I think it could work really, really well. Now they have a really good concise pitch deck which details everything what you can expect from this game. So the Infinite Metaverse is going to have creation, play, connecting and earning opportunities. The parallel will be a place where players have limitless ability to create everything and anything. A magical place where players can come together and experience the unexpected, connect and earn. The foundation of the foundation of the game is the ability to craft and uncraft anything, you know, utilize countless combinations to make things that you want. But also they have this Hydra system which is the ultimate NFT copyright which means that people can turn their paragons into unique income generating NFTs. It's going to be create to earn as well as play to earn. So people can, I could, you know, make this cat, probably struggle personally, um, but once you've created it, better artists will be able to make it and then sell it on the marketplace where these things can generate a lot of income for people. You know, if you look at Sandbox as a comparison, their marketplace, which is running, has things going for, in some cases, thousands of pounds. So this could be a very lucrative way of generating income if you have talents in these areas. Like Minecraft, I think one of the reasons why it's so popular is it's just ease to play. Players can participate in mining, logging, fishing, prospecting, gathering and crafting, and explore beautiful and mysterious landscapes, discover priceless resources in the game and treasures, and ever-expanding beautiful and bountiful world await. I think that's one of my favorite things about Minecraft is like the exploration, going through dirt and dirt and dirt, digging down absolute crap resources, and then you hit diamond. The exciting feeling that you get when you know you found something that's really, really rare in the game. And if they can add that feature into the game where you're hunting and you find some treasure underneath some random space, then I think that would be really exciting. You can't look at a game like this without comparing it to Sandbox. Very, very similar, but there are key differences that I think give Parallel a little bit of edge in certain areas. So it's gonna be on Binance Smart Chain, which everybody knows is better than Ethereum because the gas prices just suck on Ethereum until they figure out layer two. Um, NFT copyright, yes, you are gonna have that in Parallel, whereas in the sandbox, you don't. I think it offers more creativity for developers because they don't have to buy land, there's no limitation of development space, and you don't have to use the dev tools. Whereas with sandbox, you do. There's gonna be a dual tokenomics, which I, I think works better and a lot of you know NFT games at the moment have dual to economics, not just one, where a sandbox does only have the sand token. They're all both going to be played to earn. They're all going to have staking support features, marketplace and VR and AR. Um, the only difference is that 
the parallel is going to have an emphasis on mobile expansion in the future as well. Here we have some information on the PRL token and what you can use it for. It can be used in staking, farming, transaction fees, payment units in the marketplace, for participation rewards in special events, for crafting Paragon NFTs, buying items and lands, and for providing liquidity on exchanges. Whereas the PS use is going to be in in-game activity rewards, for crafting, dismantling NFTs, and for minting Paragon NFTs, lands, and items. The ways to earn in the game are through playing casual games, earning PS tokens and room materials, by farming and earning PRL token, staking uh, PRL to earn PS token and earn room materials, staking NFTs to earn PRL token, and trading tokens on exchanges, trading NFTs, runes, lands on the marketplace. The economy will probably be balanced out by burning our PRL token, PS token, through crafting NFTs, buying consumable items and crafting NFTs, and crafting NFTs with runes and uncrafting NFTs as well. Parallel will allow you to earn based on what type of contribution you want to make to the game. Whether you're an investor, a partner, or you're a trader, all the way to a player and farmer and guild, creator, developer, or entertaining companies, you will be able to have a place in this world to earn and create opportunities for other people. All game genres will have a place in the parallel metaverse. So whether it be MOBAs, FPS, ARPG, MMOs, Battle Royale, PVP, they're all gonna have a place to be created in the parallel. And they don't just want to bring gaming, they also want to bring social entertainment into the parallel as well. So using the case of virtual rap concert that had over 27 million unique participants. And this could be really a, a you know, consistent thing of the future, especially when you've got things like COVID going around and people can't get out to concerts. You've got the virtual world really creates a space for us to be able to go and feel like we're there whilst not being there and being safe. They have a lot of reach in terms of influencers and promotions. They personally own 12 YouTube channels of Minecraft content, giving them direct access to a lot of users. And I think you might see that, you know, conversion from people in the Minecraft space moving into NFT gaming and play to earn where they can actually create and earn from it. You know, create these RPGs that people can, you know, spend PRL tokens to get involved in. And then that PRL token, they can then invest into the game or they can trade back into real life currency and make money doing what they enjoy. They're pretty clear about their marketing targets. They want to build a community of 250,000 users. So Twitter 100k. Well, Twitter is already at 60k. So they're part of the way there. You've got the IDO being one of their targets to have 12,000 holders and by that point having 300,000 users. Marketplace opening, they want to increase that usership by 33% to 400,000 users and having an extra 3,000 holders. And then maintenance. I think by the time Marketplace launches, they could see a lot more holders than 3,000 going into this. So it's a game that has a very clear marketing strategy. If you're thinking of getting in on the IDO, which they've targeted for this month, then public sale information is going to be important to know. It represents 1% of the total tokens available. 25% will be available at token generation event and the vesting linear then will be for three months. So there's a lot of opportunities to get a quite a big bundle um, at token generation event. 25% is, is, is pretty big. And you can check out the other stats and see that, you know, the team is locked for one year, then vesting linear for 36 months. They're in it for the long haul. So all in all, a very strong project that I really like the look of. I think this is going to have a lot of draw. You know, we know how big the Minecraft space is. The community is huge. And if we can draw some of those into the NFT gaming space, which I think is going to see, you know, we're going to see that happen for a lot of genres of games in the next two years. Uh, if they can manage to do that, then it's going to be huge. And creating this uh, universe together and being able to make money as you create and sell it to other people, I think is just going to be a really good outlet for a lot of creative people. So check it out. As I say, all the socials are down below in the description. You can check this game out. Just follow it. Make sure to keep up to date with any competitions. I'll do my best to keep you up to date with any IDO information. Apart from that, that is all for this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.